That's totally great. You're at the Watson game film. Looking forward after that to make you feel a little more comfortable that you've got a playmaker at quarterback? I, I really do believe uh, David Graves is a playmaker. Uh, uh, you know, we started out uh, the ball game uh, with, uh, you know, with Shane Austin because, uh, you know, he's got the experience and he knows the offense. And this, this uh, Fresno football team is such an offensive weapon and, and has so many weapons in their arsenal that we knew we had to keep up with them scoring wise and when it was when we hadn't scored any points it's not that anybody had done anything wrong but we thought that uh, David would spark us and that's just what he did and, and, and he did it with having the flu and toughing it out and uh, I, I, I think he's going to be a, a super quarterback for us on the other end, Coach, um, of the greatest assessment is Billy Ray. It feels like we've spent so much time this season talking about the receivers who were injured. So here's Billy Ray, one of your original starting four who's played in every game, leading the team in receiving. Mr. Consistency, he's turning Yeah, Billy, Billy Ray is, is really having an excellent season. He had, I think he had eight catches for 133 yards, and, and uh, you know, he, he's just, uh, getting better and better. He's a sophomore and uh, learning more and more. I think Mouse has really helped him uh, like he does all the receivers. Uh, but he, he is a go-to guy and, and a big player. So I'm, I'm really happy with Billy Ray Stetson. Defensively, with two games to play, everybody's banged up. Long, long getting hurt, Tom getting hurt. We have enough left in that gas tank defensively to withstand two more games. Well, I think so. Uh, you know, because I talked to both those guys. We had a meeting at seven o'clock, and and they're they're just tough guys. I, mean, I think we have to treat them pro style well, and and obviously not hit them in practice. But uh, their their job is pretty much run up against the wall every snap, and and they make a lot of plays for tackle. So. I think that, uh, you know, I, I think, uh, you know, you, you see Corey Paredes out there. I mean, he's, he's playing beyond what I thought he could do uh, physically. Uh, this is a time of the year you do get banged up, and those that are out permanently are, are hurting also. So it's just, it's football, and I think we'll be fine. With last week back spin against the wall and not being able to pull up the game against Fresno State, your team is up against it. Mentally, attitude-wise, kids all good to go? You know, they, they show in the game. I, I said on my, my TV show, I, I love these players and coaches because there's no quit in them. Uh, you know, being down 17 points in the first quarter, Without your, your main offensive player, uh, a lot of teams would have quit. But they didn't quit. They came back and actually got ahead. And uh, you know, I, I've got all kinds of respect for this football team. And and we're we're just going to take one game at a time. We're going to Tulane, and we're not even going to think about other teams or bowls. We're we're just going to think of beating Tulane, and then. You know, uh, if and when we do that, uh, then we'll go on to the next game. So that's where we're at. Is this Tom um, business tracking with all the contract talks and things like that outside? Is that secure stuff? Is that affected the team or maybe difficult to keep it No, we don't talk about that. And, and I'm, you know, that's, that's not a factor in. Our situation.